The Orion ship reaches the moon and traces the first orbit of a human probe in 50 years. We give you an effective welcome to this new documentary, if it is the first time, I introduce myself, I am the engineer Hidakal Morrison and I appreciate you decide to see this educational content. In this installment we show you exclusive images of the Orion capsule passing 128 kilometers from the lunar surface, we tell you about the next steps of this mission and why the spacecraft lost communication with planet Earth. Join me, thanks to applied technology, in this new educational adventure. From the perspective, of an engineer. Let's start. The Artemis I mission of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, is the first test in history, without a crew, so that humanity can return to the moon, and establish a permanent base. It was as part of this mission that the Orion capsule was launched to the moon, in which astronauts will travel in the future. This ship has just reached the moon and has flown over it for the first time. The Orion spacecraft has plowed across the lunar surface in a maneuver that will ultimately send it into a distant retrograde orbit around the moon, making it the furthest human-carrying spacecraft in the history of Earth. The humanity. Let's see the details and the most impressive images of this historic moment, of the arrival of the Orion spacecraft on the moon. But first, I ask you to support us by liking this video, sharing this video with your contacts, and subscribing to this channel, activating notifications, so that with your support, we can continue frequently generating interesting documentaries on aerospace technology. And the universe, thank you for contributing to the creation of educational content. This is one of those days you've thought about for a long time, since you were a kid. We're going to put a rover around the moon. This is a game changer. Jim Free, NASA scientist. On November 21, 2022, Humanity witnessed another great milestone in space history, when on the NASA broadcast the Orion spacecraft flew past the moon on its way to outer space. It is the first time in more than 50 years, since the Apollo program, that a human probe has come so close to our satellite. An exciting new success in the race to return man to the moon. The Orion spacecraft of NASA's Artemis I unmanned mission has entered the moon's gravitational field as planned, five days after its launch on Wednesday. November 16, 2022. As the Orion spacecraft circled the moon, NASA engineers lost communication with the spacecraft as it passed behind the moon, a situation they expected since the moon blocks the signal, a tense event that lasted for approximately 34 minutes, until the signal was recovered after the spacecraft emerged from behind the moon. Upon completing this feat, the Orion spacecraft enters a second maneuver, scheduled for Friday, November 25, with which it seeks to insert Orion into the distant retrograde orbit, reaching 432,000 km from Earth. The orbit is called retrograde because it rotates in the opposite direction to the movement of the Moon around the Earth. The spacecraft will remain in that orbit for six days before flying close to the Moon again and returning to our planet. This new great feat and all the stages that follow are generating an immense amount of data collection with the spacecraft's internal and external sensors, which record a wide variety of information in order to improve the next mission that will be manned by astronauts, guaranteeing their safety and the success of that next stage of the Artemis mission. I will be very attentive to your comments, remember that I always read them.
As usual, we appreciate your information with us. It is a real pleasure to be able to provide you with the main news, trends and novelties about the most important aspects of aerospace technology and the universe from the perspective of an engineer. I am the engineer Hitakel Morrison and I invite you to meet again in a future installment.